So for any healthcare organization, the main goal uh, with this type of initiative is really to ensure a quality of care and maximize the use of our resources. Being said, this trajectory uh, really contributes to the optimization of our bed utilization and also decreases the chances of the cancellation and finally reduces uh, costs that are linked to our length of stay. The patient can leave the same day of her surgery and she benefits a lot of the comfort of home instead of staying all night at the hospital. It's a very innovative approach, especially used for total laparoscopic hysterectomies. So we established a multidisciplinary group uh, to review the literature and to see what were, was done around the world and what were the best practices um, for the project we had in mind. Uh, after that, we went back to our cases to see what were our stats, uh, our length of stay, uh, our rate of nausea, bust up, uh, the rate of pain after the operation. And after that, uh, we established a collecting system to monitor while we are collecting cases, what we were doing, and uh, we were able with that to uh, focus on different individual to correct or optimize their care and uh, to see what we were able to do better. The interdisciplinary training process resulted in uh, the implementation of a new patient trajectory in ambulatory surgery. Uh, the reduction of the average length of stay for the patients and costs related to the hospitalization. It also resulted in, in a better utilization of resources with increased uh, competency and satisfaction of all the professionals uh, involved in the project. We also created a distinct corridor where patients evolve faster and are not confronted with the, uh, the burden, uh, the nosocomial burden uh, related to the hospital stay. The analysis of the data of the first 100 women who benefited from this trajectory shows that 97% of women leave the same day of surgery and 1% of them are hospitalized within 30 days after surgery. The key of success for this project is the interprofessional approach, the training of the care team, and the collaboration of each professional and the patients. This was obviously a team uh, project where every individual was uh, essential for a safe and satisfactory evolution of the patient. Uh, the anesthesiologists are of, of course involved in the prevention of uh, postoperative nausea and vomiting. Uh, we also have a, a role to play for the, the better treatment of pain by optimization of cholinalgesia, uh, which allows the it allows us to reduce the the amount of narcotics that we use, the side effects related to anesthesia, and it allows, in the end, uh, a satisfactory and safer uh, trajectory for the patient. Interdisciplinary approach to this technique, the surgical team has a role. For the surgeon, it is the technical approach, such as laparoscopic surgery, that is important. We absolutely had to gain the confidence of the nurses in this new trajectory so that they, in turn, could gain the confidence of the patient. Nurses must adhere to this new vision of enhanced recovery to modify their practice and apply new care protocols. The collaboration of nursing staff is necessary to the success of such a project.